Are electric cars safe? What's on your mind? Oh, EVs are really attractive, but I'm worried I'll be electrocuted if I get in an accident. Is it really safe? Don't worry, I'll explain. As the spread and interest in EVs gradually increase, the concerns about EV safety have also grown. EVs use high voltage of 300 volts or more. 300 volts is higher than 110 volts or 220 to 240 volts commonly used in homes, so dangerous situations can occur. But there's no need to worry because EVs have a complex safety system. EV components, including the battery, are robust designs that go through various safety tests. Let's go into details. Battery is placed where it is less impacted by an accident and additional safety devices are applied. One of them is the interlock circuit. Interlock circuits are configured at all connections where high voltage hazards exist, ensuring safety. When the interlock connector or service plug is removed, the circuit is cut off and high voltage is not transmitted. You can check these parts in more detail through the owner's manual. Great, since there is a manual, I should take a close look at how to stay safe. But if there is a crash, isn't it more dangerous because high voltage current may flow outside? Don't worry, the VCU, which is the main controller of the vehicle, as well as each unit's controller, always monitor power problems. And in the event of a collision, it has a system that turns off the power in conjunction with the airbag system. Before mass production of the vehicle, it goes through numerous safety tests. Only the products that pass the tests can be sold so the probability of an electric shock is close to zero. I was quite worried, but now I'm relieved. But still, we should learn how to use EV safely just as we know how to use home electronics safely. You must observe the following safety rules when using them. First, the orange cables inside the vehicle's PE room are high voltage cables, so you should never touch the cables without high voltage cutoff. Second, do not operate high-voltage devices such as chargers with wet hands. Third, safety conditions such as damage to the charging cable's sheath or the connector should be checked periodically. Fourth, the inspection of the high-voltage system should be left to fully trained and qualified Kia technicians. Fifth, personal protective equipment must be worn before working on high-voltage systems to prevent accidents. All safety precautions seem very important. I'll be sure to remember them and be careful. I believe I can drive EVs more safely now. Of course, EVs are safer vehicles than any other. Drive with confidence.